Getting hungry here on the Health Watch tonight, eating to live longer, what researchers are calling the longevity diet, and Dr. Malika Marshall is here. Not a lot of surprises in this diet, but it all sounds good. No, but I feel like we need to hear the same message yeah. over and over again from the same sources, or different <laughs> sources, so that it'll finally sink in. These were researchers at the universities of Southern California and Wisconsin. They wanted to answer an age-old question, what diet is best when it comes to living a longer, healthier life? So they poured through hundreds of different studies involving both animals and humans, looking at some of the most popular diets, so high fat, low carb, vegetarian, vegan, and the Mediterranean diet, as well as various forms of fasting. What they concluded was that the optimal diet is moderately high in complex carbohydrates and low in animal-based proteins, with all meals falling within 11, an 11 to 12 hour window. In other words, a longevity diet is full of legumes, whole grains, vegetables, some fish, no red or processed meats, low in refined sugars and refined grains, plenty of nuts and olive oil, and of course, a little dark chocolate for good measure. Which makes everything better. Okay, and it sounds like researchers might say, adopt the longevity diet and take a break from social media. <laughs> <laughs> I know, might be hard to do at the same time, right. but these were researchers in the UK that looked at 154 adults who use social media every day and they asked about half of them to stop using all social media for one week. Those who did reported significant improvements in well-being, depression and anxiety compared to those who continued to use social media, suggesting that even a small break can have an impact on mental health. The researchers now want to see if the benefits last over time and whether there are certain populations who might respond differently, for example, younger people or those with underlying physical or mental health conditions. That being one of the big questions. I think young people. I think I could do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do it. I'm not sure my teens it. could, though. No. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome.